you guys welcome to my channel today i am at 38 weeks and about like three four days or nine months pregnant if you're not into all that pregnancy lingo but anyways today i'm gonna actually start nesting in a way so today i'm actually want to do two things I want to set up a little postpartum station for myself in the bathroom because we all know that after labor and delivery, it's it's a lot to take care of yourself. So I just want to have a place where I can get all my mom diapers, tucks, dermaplast, and all that good stuff in one little section so I'm not constantly looking for it. And I also want to have a Bumble nursery cart because yes, I'm going to be in my room a lot, but since we have family coming over for over a month, plus I have a daughter, a toddler, so I'm not going to be in my room all the time. At least I have a little cart, a little station where I can have diapers, changing pad, cream, all that good stuff. And I can have it in the living room where other people have access to it especially if they're taking care of the baby or so when family leaves i can just have it over there as well because we all know that newborns love to pee and poop all the time and not that it's a long walk from the living room to my bedroom but while family is here it does provide a little privacy and when they're not here honestly it's just a little more convenient okay so i like the shape of this one for the mobile nursery cart because it is triangular but I feel like this is going to be really good to fit all the diapers and stuff like that. Alright, first step before we can obviously move on is to build this cart. So let's go do that. You know, it's kind of amazing how with your first, you prepare so much earlier than with your second. Like, I had all these things done and prepped for with my first. I would say latest, 34, 36 weeks. And here I am about to give birth any second, and there's a lot I need to get done. We stand on the opposite shore. I knew this was gonna be easy to build, but honestly, looking at all the pieces, it's gonna be much easier than I even expected. So that's always a good start. The actual cart is built, but now I just gotta add the wheels. All right, we are complete with the little cart. I think it's nice, it's cute, it's functional, and I hope my toddler doesn't use this as a toy. Clean up, clean up, everybody clean up. If you're a parent, honestly, teach your kids that song because I have sang it to my toddler since she was little, and she likes to clean up after herself and she will sing the song with me. My husband will say he hates the song and I'm like, what are you doing? Don't say that in front of her. Don't you dare say those words. She likes cleaning. She likes a song. It's a win-win for everybody. All right, let's go to my closet and get the little stash of newborn diapers. Oh, pump, 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 pump. The little stash of newborn diapers that I have in here. Ignoring the clothes on top. This is kind of what I have before the newborn. I'm just gonna snatch one bag, a couple of wipes. I'm gonna sit on my bed because the pelvic pain is kind of hidden right now. So I do have these little cubicle thingies and they fit perfect in here. I think I'm gonna get the smaller one for now just because the newborn diapers are so tiny. I know I want the top part to be diaper -y because that's the things that we're gonna use the most. Diapers, booty cream. <laughs> I can't get over the size of these diapers. They're so teeny tiny. It looks teeny tiny, but when you think about this coming out of your body. <laughs> ah. I know I already went through labor once, but I don't know, sometimes I overthink it and I'm like, I get in my head about having to do it again. It's been a few hours since I last filmed because mom life. Um, but I did finish up the little mobile nursery cart. So I'm gonna show you guys what I have in here. This is how it looks. And honestly, I kept it, oh, hey guys. 
I kept it really simple because honestly, newborns don't need a whole lot. But this is what I deem the essentials. So the top tier is going to be the basic essentials. So diapers, wipes, and since I'm going to have family over for a month and I know they're going to be asking for certain things, I have a couple of little cloths here that they can use to shower the baby, clean the baby, any little task like that. Also have this booty cream and the reason I'm not using the ones I usually buy is because this is one of the creams that came with the free samples and I'm going to try to use all those things so they don't go to waste. Some baby wash just in case they need to shower the baby, wash the baby. Some lotion and then I don't think I need to have this here. I might take it out but it's just like the little nail filer for newborns. Moving on to the second tier, here I'm going to have all the clothing needs. So I'm going to start off here because these are the little bib thingies. And guys, can I say these are my absolute favorite. I got them on Amazon and they were a pack of like bananas, um, limes, watermelon. Like I just love them because they're so cute. But before I bought those, I got like the regular pink and white ones. And honestly, they're my favorite. They're so soft and just really comfortable for like cleaning up your baby's messes, for spit ups and things like that. I literally have like a ton here because I know they get used up a lot and then I have a ton more in my room. Back here I have three onesies because you know things can happen, babies get dirty really quickly so I can always have like an outfit on hand. And because the grandmas are coming, you know how they are, here are all the bows because I know they like to take pictures and dress up the baby. I also included two little hats and then some little mints because the newborns love to scratch their face. On this side, I currently just have two of these sleeper outfits that look like this. Again, I know my family's going to be helping out with the baby a lot, so I just want them to have outfits, sleeping stuff, all on hand so mama can get her rest, you know? And it's really all for clothing needs. If anything, I can always add more stuff here, but I think that's pretty good. And then to be quite honest with you, I didn't really have anything for the last tier. But I thought, okay, I can add a little blanket so if they need to lay the baby down on the floor or something like that. And then I just included a couple of books. I did include these two books because even though newborns basically just eat, sleep, and poop, um, as their awake time gets longer by the day, at least we have a couple of activities on hand, especially for the grandparents when they are here. I did think about putting like breastfeeding stuff here, but to be quite honest, I don't see myself not standing up and going to my kitchen, which will be right there, especially because this is going to be primarily in the living room or the guest bedroom where the rotating family will be. So I didn't think that was necessary and I think this is actually like a really good idea, just having a little activity center for the newborn. Especially if you're going to have help with people taking care of the baby, this just gives them a little idea, a little something to do with the baby when you're trying to get some rest. I'm honestly really happy with how it came out. I think it's simple, the essentials, and yet it is still nice and cute. Up next, I did want to do a postpartum cart, but to be quite honest, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I need a whole cart. And honestly, I think there are spiders in it and I don't feel like cleaning it right now in the garage. So I'm going to make this work because this is what I have. And to be quite honest with you, this is something I could just put like on top of the toilet. And that way when I need something, I can just like reach behind me and get it. So some things I know that I want to put in here are my mom diapers. I'm going to pack so many of these in my hospital bag, but these are some leftover ones. And honestly, don't tell me I'm weird because I smelled it. I swear this smells like something like lightly scented and it actually smells pretty good. When I first opened the package, I was like, is it me or am I smelling something good? But no, it's the diapers. They're the always discreet brand. I think I have it here. I used these with my first and oh my gosh, was it amazing. So if you are a new mom and that has never had a baby, I 100% recommend mom diapers, especially at the hospital because at the hospital they do provide the little mesh ones, but if you care about comfort, then you will want diapers. If you don't care so much, then I guess it's fine. But honestly, the words postpartum and comfort, if you ever have the chance to mix those two words together, then you take the opportunity. We are keeping it simple with some diapers, some tucks and dermaplasts, which are the basic essentials. Oh, I also got these on sale at Target from Freedom Mom, and they're the boy short briefs, basically like the postpartum briefs. And I never got to try them the first time around because I just, I never bought them, but honestly, they feel really comfortable. I think I'm actually gonna take one to the hospital just in case I like it. I've heard from a lot of moms that it, it's a little 
a little bit of compression so it holds everything together in a good way it's not too much and if i'm not mistaken these are good for like after a c-section because you just never know what might happen but the rest i obviously bought them so i'm gonna use them up no matter what and just put them in here too We're gonna pretend that the background is just not happening. It's not messy. But honestly, this took all of maybe three minutes to figure out. So I'm gonna show you guys what I have here. These are my postpartum essentials to have in the bathroom. And like, this is it guys. It's don't overcomplicate it. Up here, I have the diapers that I know I like. These are the Freedom Mom boy shirts, boy shorts that I'm going to try. And I know I'm gonna use them no matter what. So I'm gonna put them here. And then I have the tux, dermaplast. Those are like the basic essentials. And then this is the Freedom Mom Perry bottle, which if you've seen any labor postpartum video, you have seen this before. But basically, when you go pee, this angles it so much easier to get washed up where you need to be, especially because it can be really painful. So I know I'm going to be using this every single time I go to the bathroom, so there's no need to make it look all cute and tucked in. No, let's be honest, this is going to be used all the time so i'm just gonna put it up there and that is it you don't have to really overcomplicate it guys these are the bathroom essentials now this is speaking from i don't know how a c-section goes because i have not experienced that but this is from my own personal experience giving birth uh vag vaginally <laughs> vaginally i cannot talk but of course there might be some more things that c-section moms might need and who knows if that is the case that i will add things in there that i need there you go nice easy convenient i can easily just mind my own business in the bathroom reach back here get a diaper get my tux do my thing down here and it's that easy now if only birth was that easy am i right i'm sure you guys can tell but i have been out of breath this whole entire video so please don't mind that i'm gonna be honest i have a lot of little small things to do like these little tasks so i'm going to be doing another nest with me video probably tomorrow or sometime or real soon so that way i can get the bassinet set up car seat installed but i gotta do all this stuff in the next couple days because baby can be here any time now and just a friendly reminder that you don't need to overcomplicate what you need, the things that you think you're gonna need, like my mobile nursery cart. I think that's so simple with things I already have in the bedroom, just in the living room for family when they come over, and then for myself, honestly. Same with the postpartum stuff. I'm always seeing the postpartum carts, and honestly, I want to do one too because it just makes you feel a little more prepared. But to be quite honest, that's the essentials. What I need, diapers, tucks, dermaplast, and then the good old Perry bottle. If you're a new mom, maybe drop a question down below in the comments. That way, myself or some other people can answer for you. And if you're an experienced mom, maybe you can help answer some of those first-time mom questions. Because as we all know, there's a ton and they're never ending. And even as a second-time mom, I have a million more new questions. So if we can all help each other out as a community, that would be awesome. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys next time. Ooh, I'm out. I feel like I ran right now. I need some water.